this is probably going to be the last video of the year. And it's probably going to be the last video before we reach 10,000 subscribers here on YouTube. Now, do I get a YouTube? Is it plaque? How, how do you say that? I, well, I don't know. Maybe I should just order a wooden one for 10K subscribers, like a new YouTube thing and make it like my own. <laughs> and I'll put it back there. But anyways, this video is not about that. This video is about this thing that I figured out not long ago because it was something that it happened all the time. I was trying to add, you know how you have effects and generators here that sometimes you want to maybe use something in Fusion and add it directly from here. Now, ignore this little thing right here. This is actually the 3D carousel tool that I'm working on and putting everything in place. So what I wanted to do, for example, was like, was like let's say I wanted to add this effect directly in Fusion. And for some reason, sometimes when I press Ctrl and Spacebar, Spacebar to open this menu or Shift, Ctrl and Spacebar to open everything, I thought that was the key to make everything show up right here in this uh, search tab, I guess you could call this. But it turns out that if you want all your effects, generators, titles, and transitions to show up in Fusion when you press Ctrl and Spacebar or, or Ctrl Shift Spacebar, what you first have to do is click up here in Templates, then make sure that you open the Edit tab right here, and it will load for a little bit, depending on how many things you have. After this has been loaded, if you press Ctrl, Shift, and Spacebar, everything will show up right here with like within the search menu that you have right here. As you can see, we have all these generators that are showing up right here. And then if you already know the name, then you can add these right here. For example, 3D Carousel by Suave. And then I just add these and then these macro will show up. Now, this is set up as a macro for now, but the actual tool is gonna be a group so that you can then go into here to modify things further if you wish to do so. So yeah, that was a quick video that I wanted to share with you guys as a last tip of the year so that you can start the next year. No, not start, but so that you can finish the year with one little new piece of knowledge that sometimes it feels like it should be intuitive and that everybody should already know about this. But then I forget that I forgot and that I couldn't figure out why this was happening for the longest time ever. And now I know and I probably won't forget about this anymore. So... I hope that you don't forget about it as well. And now you can use these to speed up your workflow as well. So that is it. Happy New Year's. And I'll see you in the next one here in Swati. Bye.